October 11 after 10 o'clock. It is 17 degrees downtown. Not bad. It's starting to climb now. Heading for that high. The weatherman says 20 degrees today. High intermittent cloud. Believe me, I'm saying it's going to be a blinder. Don't worry about it. 22 degrees easily today. Barbara says 23. Yeah, I don't think that. It is Tuesday, April 20th. And well, you know, I better do this. Uh, and uh, we'll get the technology over there. There we go. Uh, let's do this first. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and believe me, today I am absolutely elated to catch up with good friends of ours here at Galaxy coming out of Manitoba, yes, banned and outlawed. Check this out, but for you guys that are watching right now, thank you very, very much for joining us live on Facebook Live and if you're going to be watching it a little later on, you over on YouTube, you know what to do, right? Yeah, you do. Uh, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo, yeah, you get it. Well, bell, because notifications, yeah, uh, because we have important people like Band and Outlawed in the house. Here they are with their most requested song, Beer, for everything, right here at Galaxy. <laughs> So we've got a couple of minutes before we uh, go live to the desk. <clears throat> you guys, yeah. you guys not living together at the moment? <laughs> uh, I'm actually working out of town where we live right now, so I'm about an hour and a half away from home right now. So oh, okay. I just, I was just came off work and just stayed in the hotel. Okay. And I'm at home right now. Right. So you, <laughs> so really, you didn't want him back, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah. You don't know where he's been, he's at a motel. Best place for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Tina, Tina Lou is joining us again this morning. Nice to have you with us again. Uh, and love to Angel for us, won't you? And also, uh, Steve Baker's watching. Nice to have Steve watching. And believe me, it's been a minute, my friend. Good to catch up again. <coughs> Steve Baker, he uh, Steve, comes out of Nashville, he has a business silly. there where he puts videos in all the right places you want them to be, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And uh, if you've got a good video, oh. and you want it promoted, I'll get Barbara to hook you guys up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. We're going to be working on a video soon, actually. Very, very cool, because believe me, we would love to be able to get it out to all the right places, you know what I'm saying? So Steve, reach yeah. out to them. Yeah, and we just said to Steve to reach out to you guys. So if you see somebody called Steve Baker from Vim or Visual Image Marketing, pick it up and say hello. Okay, yeah, sure thanks. <laughs> For sure will. Um, Brenda Warren is watching. Nice to have you with us, Brenda. <laughs>
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Yes, agreed, Tina. I love their sound as well. I really, really do. And <laughs> Steve Baker, uh, www.visualimagemarketing.com. Go and check them out. Believe me, you can't go wrong there. Uh, free plug for you there, Steve. Right now, and believe me, I'm really, really elated to catch up with good friends of ours here at Galaxy. Once again, we're talking to Dan and John from the band band and outlawed uh, and nice to have you guys along welcome back to galaxy guys hey thanks for having us <laughs> it is an absolute pleasure to have you and uh, of course uh it's the needle gory is joining us as well he's our resident uh elvis and uh hangs out with people like uh the hammond brothers for instance if you know who they are hall of famous by the way Oh, yeah. <laughs> and believe me, nice to have you along, Anthony. It really, really is. He's coming up for an interview in the near future as well. Now, guys, we opened this up with beer for everything. Uh, who was drinking and why did Dad catch you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I don't know. We just like like to do that kid thing where you get to see everyone drinking. You know, like, oh, I feel kind of left out. So decided to have one and then one time. Well, we, then, then we, find the, we find the beer fridge in the basement, and when mom and dad aren't home, we sneak at each other a beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's how smoking starts. <laughs> you know, back in the day, that was how young young ones, they were stealing mom and dad's cigarettes, you know what I mean? Because they see mom and dad doing it. Yeah, believe yeah. me, uh, <laughs> that could be the start of a lot of problems <laughs> in life if you... Uh, uh, put it that way, you just, sometimes parents can be very, very naughty. They really, really can and can rub off on their kids. Uh, by the way, uh, John, nice to see a full head of hair there under that cap. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, believe me, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, give you five years. <laughs> and then you'll be wearing one of these weird kind of hairstyles, you know, like... Um, Yes, <laughs> you get some weird hairstyles out there. You really have you even noticed? You know they do some mm, yeah. crazy stuff with their hair these days. Uh, these guys are young, young enough to know hair is where it should be on top. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> now, guys, beer for everything, and believe me, I, I really do believe there is a beer for everything, and it is your most requested band and outlawed song here at Galaxy. Let's go back down the memory lane. Tell us all about it. How did you come to the lyrics? Go ahead there, Daniel. <laughs> you kind of had a lot to do with writing this one. Well, you know, we are always, like, always drinking out by the bonfire with my dad or my grandpa, so I kind of just wanted to write a story about it because it's just kind of like how we live. So that's what we came up with, kind of like those lyrics kind of follow our... Uh, or good times of uh, drinking in the backyard. <laughs> and of course, by the way, we, uh, like, that's how we live. So it's like, everybody thinks it's the true story. And it is a true story. So we can really relate to it. And lots of people can relate to that. Because lots of people live like that, like we do. You know, I get it. I really, really do. And believe me, I, I fully understand that. And it's nice to have that um, that association with the family, don't you think? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I love family time. I really, really do. And, of course, uh, sitting in the backyard getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good time to be had. It really, really is. And believe me, most of the time, if you only fall out with your family, well, you know, you'll fix it sooner or later. She'll be right. <laughs> Another one coming around next weekend. You'll be fine. Barbecue, by the way. Uh, it is 20 after 10 o'clock. And, and believe me, guys, I'm absolutely loving the sound of that. Where did you get that recorded? Uh, we got that one recorded here in Winnipeg with uh, Golden Oak Recording. And, uh... Probably yeah. took, us about, took us about a month to get it done. Page. So... Yeah, we got it. We got it. Out, uh, in a pretty fast time, I think. Very, very cool. And believe me, uh, people do request it. And we play it often here at Galaxy. 
uh, especially on a Sunday. Awesome. We really, really do. Believe me, don't feel left out. You are fully included in there. You really have. Now, I've got to be honest, we've played this a number of times, but we really haven't said anything to anybody about it. We just played it. Just to see, you know, it's like dipping the toe in the water, right? You just got to check it out, make sure people like it, see what happens. Blew up our internet. Literally, it blew up our internet. Now, tell me a little bit about living my life in a small town. Uh, I, I presume this is a, <laughs> something you do anyway, and you decided to write about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, we wrote this one with Burger King. Or did Winnipeg, and uh, yeah, he just we all just kind of put it together, put a story together, and just came up with words. Yeah, it's, it's, it's also it's a lot about a party for sure. That's the song big impact about our life is me and Jonathan both went to the same high school, and that's what it was about. That that song, that's what our high school was about, <laughs> which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Now, uh, Greg Arcade, uh, love, love, love Greg Arcade. We really, really do. Got a huge respect for that man. Uh, tell me the relationship. How did you meet Greg? Uh, oh, we met when I was really young. He messaged us on Instagram, actually, out of all places. And uh, just told us his story. And then we're like, kind of just, kind of just went off from there. We met him in person at person at an award show in Manitoba Country Music Awards and then kind of right from there we recorded that write a song our them, relationship, it. relationship just grew from there because we both had the same kind of story behind us and we're into the same kind of music which is I think is pretty cool absolutely brilliant and believe me we do have a lot of time for Greg we really really do so right <laughs> here awesome. joining us live is of course Daniel and John from the band Band and Outlawed is living my life in a small town right here at Galaxy. Damn, it's hot in here, brother. Let's <laughs> get a little warm. I'm not sure how to say that last name. Who's the surname? Is that, who's Susan? Is that your mum? Yeah, that's my mum, yeah. Oh, okay, She's okay, well, mum's watching, just in, <laughs> just in case. Um, yeah, I'm sort of keeping a, nice a track on. Nice to meet you. You guys, I'm watching okay, you guys, yeah. watching me, watching you guys, Hi, you know Steve. what I mean? Hi, <laughs> And uh, don't forget, you'll get a copy of everything we do, literally, so I'll apologise. Uh, do you get lots of uh, Canadian artists? down in uh, New Zealand there. We oh, yeah. Yeah. play so many Canadian artists, it's not funny, it really, really yeah. is. Uh, I mean, Canada has such a rich environment of music, it would be remiss of us not to, you know what I mean? You know, so I'm a big fan of music coming out of Canada. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's good. And and you, guys play, uh, you guys play Keith Urban? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, He's a king, is he right? Canadian? <laughs> 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 yes, we play Keith Urban. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we kind of know who he is too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we figured that one out. I, I think we had a relationship somewhere along the lines with his wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tina says, hi, Barbara. Hi, Tina. Nice to have you with us, Tina. It really, really is. Um, now, guys... I've got, just got to ask you, you guys, uh, are you guys vegans? No. No? No way. Okay, have you, have you ever oh. tried a vegan sausage? <laughs> no. No? Look, oh, to, be, to be honest, I ask everybody this because I want to know actually if vegan sausages are made of real vegans. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently Girl Guide Biscuits weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember them? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, in the background. Yeah, anyway, well, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up. But first, I've got a fan question for you, so uh, hang right in there.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 26 away from 10 o'clock, it is 17 degrees, we're going up there, we are heading for a high, would you believe, with me it says 20 degrees, I'm saying 22 degrees today, going to be a blinder, Barbara says 23, it's not going to get there, don't worry about it, it is Tuesday, April 20th, and uh, Tina, where you been? <laughs> okay, uh, you did say, nice, been missing y'all. Well, you know, we love you. We do. So uh, don't be away for too long, will you? Coming up very, very shortly, we're going to be going all the way over to North Carolina to catch up with Brian Smith from the Smitty and the Jump Starters. Right now, we're joined, and I'm really, really elated about this, by Daniel and John coming from the band, Band and Outlawed. Now, guys, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, guys, do you respond? Uh, <laughs> uh, we're on we're on all three of those Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We got a website now too. Um, reply to DMs. Yes, we'll reply. We will reply to it. To uh, sure. uh, John, you shouldn't have said that. Now you're going to get another five thousand Facebook fans, and well, you're going to be there all day. Uh, you'll be passing off the Instagram stuff off to Daniel. He'll be there all day. You'll never get any Sparky work done. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, no, uh, you say no, uh, we don't respond at all, believe me, uh, yeah, we have somebody that does that, believe me, uh, and, and for a good number of years I had somebody that did that, uh, yeah, uh, Barbara used to do that for me until one day she came to me, she bought me a brain speck in your phone, she handed it to me and she goes, you take care of it. <laughs> Which I, I don't blame her actually Got a good few years of use out of that uh, But having said that uh, Now guys At the same time You mentioned a website Can we download your music there But more importantly Do you have a merch store on your website? Uh, yes we have You can, you can our, uh, The music takes you to our Direct link on Spotify Or Apple Music and our merch store is linked to the website, yes. So both, they're on. Very, very cool. And believe me, guys, by the end of this, you never know, you might have sold a koozie. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you yeah. got, got a stockpile of t-shirts and said koozies waiting for, waiting for people to buy them. So. There you go. Good, <laughs> good plug. Good plug. I love that. I really, really do. Uh, now, having said that, and believe me, I, I understand about the COVID virus thing. Everybody says to me, uh, we're doing a lot of writing, we're doing a lot of recording, we're not doing a lot of shows, which is understandable, I get that, I really, really do. Uh, but do you have new stuff coming out anytime soon, guys? Uh, yeah, we got some stuff coming out in July. Yeah, in July we got a song coming out, which we'll probably have a video for that too. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. We're, uh, we're working on uh, another three songs coming up, and hopefully going towards an album this year that's cool that's exciting it really really is uh so you know where i'm going to go with this one will you come back again will you release new music with us in the near future guys yes we definitely will we'll be back in new zealand doing that <laughs> you're almost a sadomastic aren't you? you you like putting yourself through this torture don't you <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're thankful to get our music played on new zealand galaxy FM station. <laughs> Believe me, uh, I'll give you the stats in a minute and you're going to love them. You really, really are. But uh, we'll wrap it up right now. Don't go anywhere just yet. We've got a couple of things that we do after this, as you may know. Uh, but in the meantime, folks, thank you very, very much for joining us. Come back very, very shortly. We're going to be having Smitty and the Jump Starters join us coming out of North Carolina. But in the meantime, you're right here at Galaxy. Good morning. <laughs>